it is time for Wantables anniversary event. So I ordered a style edit. If you want to see what's in it, keep watching. Hey fashion friends, welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It. My name's Andrea and I love clothes and subscription boxes and shopping hauls and try-ons and all that kind of thing. If you do too, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and we can hang out and hit the notification bell. If you like this video, give me the like, leave me a comment, all those things that makes YouTube push my videos out to other people. I would so appreciate it and I do appreciate you taking the time today to watch my video. All right, so Wantable is a uh, subscription styling service. They uh, do men and women. Um, women, they have three different categories. This style edit, which is just regular work, weekend clothes, that type of thing. They have an active edit, which is active wear and loungewear, I think. And then they have a sleep and body edit, which is um, lingerie and, and loungewear. This is a style edit. They, you can get the boxes on recurring schedule or they also have themed edits and that is what this is. So this is their anniversary event. They did send me an offer for $5 styling. The styling fee is normally $20 and you do get seven items, um, but they will run specials pretty regularly where they'll offer a $5 styling fee. And I have started taking advantage of that because it just makes it low risk. And Winnable is kind of hit or miss for me. Um, some boxes that are just amazing and others are duds, which I guess is true of all the styling boxes. Isn't that, I mean, isn't that the case? Um, they have a stream where you can go through and either request items or reject them. And I did go through that with this, did a lot of rejecting because it was like a lot of jeans and things like that. So um, it'll be interesting to see what's in here. Uh, they do send you seven items, which increases the chances that you will find something that you love. And they give you a little personalized sticker styled for Andrea. And that was a little bit of a challenge getting the bundle out since it's got that seven items. All right, that is my bundle. I think there's a free item in here as well. I'm gonna take off the paper. Okay, they do send you a um, an envelope to return your items that you don't wanna keep and shipping is included. And they send you a price list and a note from your stylist. And it looks like one thing that I requested is on here. Um, Hi, Andrea, it's time to celebrate. I'm so excited that you're sharing in the fun of Wannable's 11th anniversary. We are so thankful to have you, and I made sure to spoil you with these seven stylish picks. I'm not gonna read the rest because I wanna be surprised. Okay, so first up, we have a pouch, which is probably jewelry. Yes. Oh, this, is, I think, is the free item, yes. This edit features a free gift. So it's a necklace by Jennifer Zuner Jewelry. And it's just a pretty simple necklace, gold with a couple little stars on it. It's pretty. I definitely will wear that. Okay, so that a free gift is always nice because if you've paid $5, the free gift is, you know, makes it worth it. All right, next up, something in a bag. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a purse. Like some kind of purse. All right, so we've got we've got this little it's kind of like a clutch. It's um it's actually a wristlet. Who is this by? It's got a pocket there. Looks like it's got a place to put like a, a shoulder strap on it. I wonder if there's a shoulder strap in there. Yes, there is. And it's like a, um, it's like an organizer. It's, you know, got a place for your credit cards and a zipper for money and then a zippered area there. Um, then a space in the middle there. 
So pretty color. I'm trying to figure out who this is made by. Joy. Joy. Joy Susan. So pretty color. The thing is, chances are I won't keep this because as cute as it is, I am not a little purse kind of girl. I am a big purse kind of girl. Um, I, I carry large bags because I carry a lot of stuff in them. So I carry like a couple bags for shopping, grocery shopping and shopping in stores. And, you know, I carry a bag full of all kinds of, you know, face powder and lipstick and, and things like that. And a wallet and my sunglasses. And I just, as much as I would love to be able to carry a cute little purse like this, I am not that girl, but I will, I will show it to you. All right, next up we have something navy. I love the color navy. This is by Skyser Blue, and it's um, very, very pretty. It's got a lot of detail. It's got like some crochet detail. It's got just like fluttery sleeves. I'm trying to decide in the back if, at first I thought it had like a crossover, but it's just a really flowy back. Straight hem, crew neck, feels like nice material. Let's see what this is made of. It is lined, whatever it is made of. It's lined in the front. And this is 100% rayon. So that will probably shrink some, so that's something to keep in mind. All right. Next up, we have something by Neela May in this oatmeal color. It is a sleeveless, it's a sweater material, ribbed, and then it's got like a little twisty tie in the front. Not sure that's a great color for me, but we will try it on. It's nice and soft. Okay, next up we have by Thread and Supply. Um, it is a long sleeved top, V-neck, again in this kind of like oatmeal color. Um, it's it's got like a kind of a different type of ribbing, like different widths of ribbing, and a straight. I'm not loving the feel of the fabric, so let's see what it's made of. 65% cotton, 30% polyester, 5% spandex. It's not an awesome feel. So it's also got a split at the hem, and it looks like the front is a little shorter than the back. All right, next up, we've got something that is a very voluminous. I think this must be a dress. And yes, it is maybe a maxi dress. This is by Lucy Paris. It's got these uh, smocked sleeves. The bodice is smocked. And then it's got tears. Very, lots of material. Um, and it's kind of not sure, I don't think you would call that a paisley, but it's this pink pattern. So we will try that on. Okay, <laughs> next up we have something, I have no idea why they sent it to me. Um, it's a denim jacket that is distressed, it's by Cut From The Cloth. Um, it's got distressing on the top there, on the sides. Did I see some on the arms? I guess not. I don't wear distress, distressed denim and that's in the notes of all the styling services. So that's curious why they would send that to me, but I'll go ahead and try it on for you. It's also got the, the frayed raw hem. And then last, we have the Alley High Rise Slim Vintage Luxe by Kenzie and I have some Kenzie jeans that I really like a lot. Um, just, just the distressing on the edges. It is a raw hem. I do like Kenzie. The thing is, I don't really need any jeans right now. Um, 
I, I bought two pairs of jeans in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I didn't need those either because I have so many jeans. Um, these do look like a, a little bit of a wider, wider leg than what I typically have. All right, so we will try this on. Uh, you know, I'm gonna say there's not anything that I'm super, super excited about, but sometimes you try things on and you go, wow, that is just the cutest thing I've ever worn. So um, if you haven't tried Wantable before, I will leave my link below that gives you, I believe $20 off um, and that is an affiliate link. So I will get a small commission if you make a purchase and I really, so appreciate anybody that does that because it just helps me keep bringing you these videos. All right, I will show you my outfit of the day and then we'll start trying things on. Today's outfit is a top that I got from Wantable actually. Um, I think it is 78 and sunny, super soft, this kind of lavender and white stripe and the Kind of boat neck and cap sleeves and then the shorts are from liverpool that i got i believe from nordstrom and the shoes are jeffrey campbell and i got those in a, a trunk club back in the day when trunk club was a thing so this is the outfit it is super hot here in colorado right now uh, been in the, the 90s, high 90s for, for quite a while. So um, shorts and dresses is the uniform these days. All right, let's try some clothes on. Actually, I wanted to show you how I tucked my shirt because I, I often struggle with the whole front tuck thing and it just wasn't liking how it looked with this. So what I did, I, it was something I saw on Pinterest. I twisted it like this and then tucked it in like that. And I actually like that look a lot. So if you struggle with the front tuck or you just want something different, give that a try. All right, I'll be right back with the first outfit. First up, we have the Lucy Paris dress. And I will confess, I like this better than I thought I would. Um, it is a maxi, but it, you know, I, I'm just wearing a really low wedge and I could wear completely flat sandals and it would be fine. Um, it's got the tears, the smocking. So this is what it's like. This would be a really nice dress for a summer wedding or uh, maybe shower or something like that. So let's come up and, and talk about it a little bit more. It is not really bra friendly. So you can just barely see my bra and I can adjust it, but in the back, you can see my bra. Also, the straps are very loose. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure they might stay up, but you can see that, that it's on the loose side. It would probably need to be taken in about probably an inch for me to feel very comfortable in it. It's got this smocking on the bodice and in the back. It's comfortable. It's a very comfortable dress. Um, and I, you know, I don't usually go for big prints like this, but I have to say I am not minding this at all. So I like the color, the, you know, the bright pink. Just not really sure where I would wear this. So it would, it would probably depend on the price. If it is a screaming good deal, I might, I might buy it. And if it is higher priced, then I probably won't just because I don't have anywhere that I can think of to wear it. Um, although I am going on some, some vacations next month. Some friends are coming to visit for um, a couple weeks and we're going to be doing some trips. Anyway, so let me know what you think of this dress. It's very flowy. Yeah. All right. Off to a good start. Let's try something else. Next outfit are the Kenzie jeans and the Skies Are Blue navy top. And this is it all together. Let's come up close and talk about each item. So the top is very comfortable. It's, you know, rayon can be a really comfortable material. And this is, 
it does do this little funny flippy thing, which I'm sure I could, you know, iron it down. Um, it, I think it's meant to be worn out because it's got this crochet detail here. So if you did a front tuck, you would lose that, which I guess wouldn't, wouldn't be terrible. Um, you would still have, you know, that. And I like that. I think what I asked for, and I have been asking my um, boxes for, are t-shirts that have a unique detail. And this, you know, this definitely fits that description. I just don't know that I love it. I like the, you know, I like the scoop neck. It's, you know, not a crew neck, so I like where the neck comes. And this is just okay. I, I think that's what it is. It's just okay if it was, I don't know. All right, this is the back. Let's talk about the jeans. So they are by Kenzie. And like I say, I have a, a couple pair of Kenzie's and like them a lot. They are, I would call these, would you call these a straight leg? You know, they're a good length. They fit well, but there's nothing about them that says you need to add this to your already overflowing closet um, of, of jeans. So these, these will probably be a no, but I will keep them on for the rest of the try on. All right, one last turn. All right. Let's keep going. Next up, we have this top by Mila May, this sleeveless kind of sweatery type material with a twisty front. And I'll come up closer. It is uh, pretty form fitting and showing my, my muffin top. Um, I actually like this, but the color is just blah. If this was in a prettier color, you know, a pink or a blue or Pretty much anything but this oatmeal, I probably would consider it. All right, Sophie's here. Not Sophie, Lucy. Lucy's here. Say hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Lucy's birthday was yesterday. She turned 17. So, yeah. And then this, you know, I love this twisty thing, but it does have a tendency to kind of bunch up like that. You pull it down and then just as you move around, it bunches up. So let me show you the cut from the cloth jacket. You know, cut from the cloth makes, makes nice jackets. I just don't wear distressed denim. So it's just, it's not a look I've ever appreciated. This is if I rolled up the cuff and see how that would look which because this is pretty long, if I, if I were gonna buy this jacket, that's what I would do. I, I wouldn't mind the frayed edge so much, but the distressing just really is not my thing. All right, we have one more top to try on and I'll show you that clutch. So before I talk about this, I'm gonna tell you that as I was walking around, this started to ride up and was showing my belly. Now these are, you know, these, these are kind of a mid rise, so I could wear a higher rise, but I am, you know, I 100% believe that you should wear whatever you feel good in at whatever age. I don't feel like anybody needs to be seeing this 62 year old lady's belly unless I'm in a bathing suit. So, um, yeah, that's, that's another reason why this is going to be a no, because I don't want to constantly be fussing with it. All right, let's talk about this one. And who is this by? I cannot remember, but it is a big fat no. I don't like anything about this top. I don't like the color. I don't like the oversized fit. I don't like the material. I like the V-neck, okay? Um, but other than that, yeah, I do not, I don't like this at all. And here, I'm not gonna take this apart because I know I'm not gonna keep it. So I'm not going to take it apart to show you how the, the strap would, would look, but it, um, it has this for the zipper. 
So it's got a lot, it's got a lot going on because then it's got this for the, the wristlet. But, you know, it, it'd be a cute little clutch if you can get away with that kind of um, a size purse. All right, let's do prices and a recap. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the necklace. I probably will not keep it on because it, it kind of tends to fall behind the neck of this. Um, but let's talk about prices and a recap. So, oh wow. <laughs> All right, these high rise vintage slim straight in Victoria by Kenzie. I guess I requested these back in February. Um, and th they're supposed to be like a kind of a cropped, but because I'm only five foot three, they are not. Um, they were originally $58. They are on sale for $29. <laughs> so that actually makes them a consideration. Well, I don't need jeans they would only be $24 after my $5 styling fee. So, um, <laughs> oh my, oh my. Yeah, so I'm gonna try those on again. That's one of the things about your wish list, um, your requested items, is you do wanna go in there regularly and see if you still want those things. Um, but at $29, that's, that's kind of hard to pass up. Because like I said, I do like Kenzie jeans. That is a cut that I don't have. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. All right, the Julia denim jacket in Befriended by Cut From The Cloth is $99. And that's a no because of the distressing. Um, it's always frustrating when they send me distressed items because that's an automatic no. Okay, the Dylan smocked dress in Paisley, okay, they are calling that the Paisley, by Lucy Paris. This is $120, which is a fair price. It is a nice dress. It's lined. It's got lots of material, lots of detail, you know, the, the tears, the smocking. I really think that's a fair price. I just don't think that I want to spend that much money on a dress right now that, um, I, I'm not even sure how much wear I would get out of it. That was a surprise out of the box though because I did not expect to like it pretty much at all. All right, next up we have the embroidered short sleeve top in navy by Skies Are Blue. This is $52 and that's gonna go back because I about the only thing I really liked about it was the neckline and the material and it's probably gonna shrink because it's 100% rayon and I just, didn't love that that pattern of the you know the detail on the front. The carry carry top in white swan by Thread and Supply. That's this long sleeved one that I didn't like anything about. This is fifty dollars, and that's a for sure going back because fifty dollars is a lot, and I didn't like it at all. All right, the sleeveless rib knit twist front solid top in oatmeal. Remember I said I thought it looked like oatmeal? By Mila May is $49. Um, and, you know, I, I might have considered this, might have even considered it was an extra small sizing up if it had been a prettier color um, so that, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about it riding up. But that's, that's going back. And then last, we have the Karina Convertible Wristlet and Wallet in Perry Blue by Joy Susan. This is $60. This is a really nice clutch, all-in-one type of purse. If you can get away with that kind of purse, then, then this, is, this is nice. Um, I don't know if this is real leather. It's um, got that striped lining inside, but it is really nice. I just... I'm going to be honest with myself and say, yeah, I would almost never get to use this because where would I put all my stuff? All right, so the stylist pick subtotal is $459. If you keep five items, they give you a 20% discount, which would take off $91.80, bringing it down to a total for all seven items of $367.20. And then there's the styling fee credit sales tax, it would come to $393.35. Um, let's see, what else did she say? I was so excited to stag the Kenzie jeans from your wish list. They're even on sale, score. 
but it's a score. I, I Chances are good that I'm going to keep them because of that. I also saw your note, so I made sure to include a few lightweight tops with unique details for the warm summer weather in Colorado. I can't wait to hear what you think. I hope you love adding a bit of extra sparkle to your look with the free necklace. We want to celebrate you as much as possible, so share your looks from this exclusive edit on Instagram using a hashtag Wannable Anniversary and tag at Wannable for a chance to be featured. Enjoy. <clears throat> okay, so there's also, they have an account note and an order note, and the account note <clears throat> said, Specifically, I don't ever wear distressed denim. So that's that's kind of frustrating that that, that was written and she still sent me distressed denim. So anyway, so probably the only keeper are gonna be the jeans and I'm gonna try them on again and just make sure, make sure. Lucy is walking around in the tissue paper. So that's my cue to go ahead and wrap things up. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you got a Wannable Anniversary Edition, let me know in the comments. And yeah, until next time, fashion friends, don't forget to dress like you mean it.